In just hours, Florida's lawmakers dropped the gavel on the 2024 legislative session. With hundreds of bills filed and a governor running for president, Capitol reporter for Saunders tells us what to expect. The gavel's now set to drop Tuesday morning. Kicking off that 60-day lawmaking gauntlet in Tallahassee, but not before Florida's governor gives the state of the state address. Ron DeSantis. All right. This year's different than most. That's because as soon as DeSantis is done, he's heading back to Iowa and the 2024 campaign trail, seeking that GOP presidential nomination as the caucus looms. Meanwhile, but we cannot allow, in the case of EVs and other things, our country and our state to be dependent on countries like China. Guys like House Speaker Paul Renner and Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo expected to fill the void with their big priorities. Renner seeking better energy independence for Florida and age restrictions on social media. Pasadomo pushing that major health policy to ease access to care and encourage more physicians to come to the state. In Florida today, we do not have enough health care personnel to uh, take care of the Floridians that are living here. There's also a growing slate of controversial GOP bills, including weakening child labor protections for 16 and 17 year olds, lowering the purchase age of long guns and rifles back to 18 and doing away with no excuse vote by mail. I think that Voting in person is the absolute safest way of voting. And anything outside of voting in per person, there's going to be a risk. There is going to be a margin of error. Democrats have already started pushing back on those ideas, saying Republicans in the supermajority aren't tackling Florida's real issues, like affordability. What are you fighting for? What, what, what's the fight? And why, are, why do we still have problems? Uh, and some of this is like uh, going to the movies nowadays. There's no original ideas in here anymore. Lawmakers are expected to address one of the hottest topics this year, property insurance. With the transparency bill forcing companies to better disclose where consumer dollars go. Other bills would ease access into Florida's insurer of last resort, Citizens, which critics say is a backtrack. That's after lawmakers tried to trim down the state-backed company's policyholders and ease taxpayer exposure during the previous session. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting. We want to point out, too, our Matt Sesney will be live at the state capitol all week speaking with local lawmakers about the insurance crisis. Join us over the next few days for his live in-depth reports.